Hey guys, um, I was gonna actually turn this into a candy club box opening, but I've already opened it and like ate some. Um, I hate jelly beans and actually liked these jelly beans, so I'll tell you that. Um, and I love gummy bears, and these are really good gummies. Um, I don't know if flavors these are like blue raspberries. They're really good gummies. And I mean, the amount of candy like that you get for what you pay for in a store, it would be unreal. But like the only downside would be having this much candy on hand. You know what I mean? Sweet tooth, like, eat a piece here, eat a piece there. That shit adds up. But, uh, my favorite, obviously, my, my favorite. And I got this, like, two or three days ago. But, um, my, my favorite were definitely the, um, it does not say it on it. Um, don't, like, cherry sour cherry rope thingies you'll know and you'll see them like whenever you're on their line but definitely worth it and then they had the most awesome like i love saltwater taffy like it's my favorite candy i would have to say and to believe it or not, I'm not actually a candy person. Just what draws me. She wants something sweet. But, um, <clears throat> which, um, I've gotten to the stage of detox now where I'm freezing. Just freezing. I like, I, like I'm in a really, really thick, like, West, West Virginia hoodie, but it's like really, really, really thick. I'm freezing. It's cold here, anyways. Like, we got our first snow, so. And everybody, like, I don't get it, every winter, everybody freaks out over the first snow, whether it's, like, an inch or two. When we're used to getting, like, last year, we got four and a half feet, so, you know what I mean? Really. But they have the most cotton, uh, candy, like, uh, saltwater taffy. I'm in love with these. Love these. Like, I think I'm gonna order, like, order, order some taffy from them. Anyways, but having that much candy on hand could make you fat. Anyways, just saying. But, <clears throat> I decided to turn this into a story time video instead. So, I am going to lean back and get comfy. I said comfy, uh, I meant comfy. And, um, I'm gonna, like, I guess... As I do story time videos, I guess I'm going to start from the beginning, because I'm also, like, writing an autobiography. So, like, you know, I'm, I'm thinking back to just stories of everything, everything in life. And, you know, some things you look back on, and you're like, damn, I wish I would have listened to somebody, or somebody just smacked me in the face and made me listen, and... You know, like, your parents seem to always be right when you think they're wrong. You know, those sort of things. I don't know. But. Once again, I smoke. I do not promote it. I do not recommend it. It's a horrible habit. It's a nasty habit. It stinks. And I've tried, like, how to quit 10 or 15 times. But, um, I seem to pick food up, and I would have preferred to kill myself than to weigh 500 pounds. And, um, don't, don't get me wrong, if you're comfortable in your own skin, you are. You know what I mean? But, me personally, no. Anyways, um, I thought I would start at the beginning at how I even got on drugs. But, in order, I, I might, uh, yeah, okay, I think I could, I know what I could do. Okay. I had, um, 
started at the strip club, and it, it didn't take long, you know, uh, I was with a girl, she moved in, you know, and she was on pills, and, well, every stripper was on something, they had to have their voice to, just to get through, you know what I mean, get through the night, some of them were just alcoholics, but most were drugs, and then coke was big, because we needed to keep our energy up, and, because that's tiring, it's a tiring fucking job, but, um, I would, I mean, I would sometimes go in at noon, and not leave until 3.30 a.m., you know what I mean, but the typical shift was 7 to 3.30, it, 3, actually, but 3.30 by the time I got out of there, but got paid and all that, but, um, anyways, I, we were in, we were in a trap house, getting her pills, and, I mean, she had lived with me for, like, a month by this time, you know, and, I was never tempted by drugs, as a matter of fact, when I was younger, I was very anti-drug, you know, like, uh, I would yell at my boyfriend for smoking weed, sort of anti-drug, but, um, quickly that changed, but, um, one day, she decided that, you know, she's gonna shoot up, she's she'd done it before, whatever, and, um, she was like, do you want to try it? And I had a lot of emotional shit going on at that time. And, like, I'm not even going to blame it on dancing. It was, it was just a bunch of emotional shit in my life. You know? Like, my son's father just trying to make my life hell. You know? And it was just a bunch of emotional shit at that time. And I literally, like, held my arm out and let her shoot me up with an Oxy-80. I threw up for about four hours and then nodded off for about six. And all my problems went away. And that's how I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. And then when I moved around, you know, and heroin was what I found. I fell in love with it even more. You know what I mean? I, but... Living in West Virginia, I'm sorry, I'm getting really comfy. But in West Virginia, um, my legs hurt from, you know, detox and, like, they fucking just hurt as you keep moving. In. Anyways, um, so that's how I fell in love with it. And, you know, the sick, weird part, I, the needle never bothered me. You know what I mean? And that part never bothered me. You know? I, I don't know, but we pay for that, we pay, we pay dearly for trying to get out of our pain, you know, and I guess it teaches you to be patient, it'll end, I guess, after my ex broke my heart, like, and I can't. I came down here. I maybe needed this time. Maybe God knew I needed this time down here by myself to figure out who I am. Like, you know, my ex took that from me, and I needed to figure out who who I really was. And what's funny is he was in love with me then, but the person I am now. He would really love, but he will never know, you know. Like, it's like that, um, that old song, White Flag, you know, um, like, she's like, uh, when we meet, which I'm sure we will, um, like, she's talking about, like, she'll look on, and carry on, basically, letting her own heart break, because she, she messed up so bad, you know, 
and I messed up so bad that I can't, there, there would be no going back even if I wanted to, you know, granted I left, but it was because I hurt him so bad, so, I figured that story would actually last longer, but after that, like, you know, I got in a, I got really into psychedelics, like, I'm really into the dead and Pink Floyd and Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix and Zanius and Jefferson Airplane, you know, like, just Eagles, um, I don't know, uh, Ben Harper, Jack Johnson, that's my kind of music, um, unless I'm in a certain mood, and then it's like, T.I., that sort of thing, but, um, I hope this ends soon, I don't know what to do, and I know this is all I can do, oh, I just want it to end and be okay. I want to be myself, I just don't want to be sick, I'm tired of being sick for something, you know, it's not worth it, it's not worth it to me anymore, I think I've let go of my emotional pain and that helps, sorry, that's gross, but stuff builds up in your lip piercing around the ball, and sometimes it aggravates me. But like I said, I I do recommend Candy Club. Like I said, I guess I'm doing a double video here. I do recommend the Candy Club. Just I would separate the candy. Like I would put some here, here, and put the rest of that. Because three pounds of candy, that's a lot of candy. <clears throat> but I, I appreciate you guys, like, your views, and I guess, I don't know if you're checking up on me or making fun of me for being sick, but this truly is what it's like, and maybe if somebody truly shared that, you know, maybe just that one person can make you understand you know, and yeah, we did it to ourselves, but we also suffered, and we were suffering when we did it to ourselves, you know, there are so many things, so many reasons I can give you, not excuses, reasons, and, but I really appreciate you guys, like, you know, watching and, uh, I'll be doing more beauty reviews, and, I don't know, I have several videos planned coming up that, um, kind of are out of this realm, you know, by the end of this week, I hope to be back on the grind, um, I will have a, a there are five videos I know of that I will have, you know, up in, going, and like I said, I'm, I'm still, I'm still here for you dolls, and I appreciate you watching, subscribe, give me a like, comment, take it easy, bye dolls.